Adrian. Who I don't see in chat yet. I wonder if he's going to be able to make the stream today. Let's see here. Who, uh, who we got going on right now? Looks like nobody quite yet. But let me know when you're here in chat. I want to make sure that, uh, <laughs> that you feel welcome and happy to be here. I know I'm happy to be here. Got my hair a little messed up right now. There we go. Looks a little better. Alrighty, so if I remember correctly, we finished off the last stream where we just built up a big new farming area, big industry area for farming. And uh, they were complaining about not having enough people. So we're going to build up a big residential district on that side of the, the map as well. And just get ready to give them a huge influx of workers, keep the game paused. Yeah, th this is what was going on as we built our accidental oblong basketball shaped thing over here. And there, there's a lot of farming ready to go on. But the problem is we need to build this up to be residential and then just try to cram in some commercial here and there as well. So the thing is, I would strongly prefer that we have traffic going up onto the highway as opposed to going directly into the industry area. But we are also sitting on a very small amount of cash right now. We can take 20k from that loan. We can't quite pay this one back. I'm actually going to let the game run for a little bit while we kind of plan things out because we've got a good income at the moment. And so one of the things that I am kind of curious about is like, what's going to be our main transit network to get from over here to over here? Because the thing is, we certainly could take the metro that's already cranking and we could probably run it above ground over the water and then bring the metro in here to get some people to work. But I'm honestly not sure if that's going to be a good idea or not. And the other thing is, I'm thinking we may, even though we have this exit, we may want to consider turning this into a, uh, a, a four-way stack interchange so that we can bring this kind of like this and kind of round out around where the residential area would go. So I'm going to get us up to about 100k before I pause again. That way we have just a little bit more time or a little bit more cash to kind of plan out what we need. And at this point we have industry demand. I'm actually, this is something that I meant to do before. Let, let's do this real quick. Is let's dezone all of the industry over here. And I'm probably going to end up accidentally dezoning some commercial as well. That's perfectly okay. But we're going to dezone all of this and let the ground start getting cleared up over here. We're going to need to move our garbage processing out of here, but that's that's pretty easy to take care of. That's going to be our main priority right off the bat here. I know that I killed some commercial buildings as well. It's fine. It'll all get filled back in. And then we need to... We can't move these buildings until they're emptied. So the thing is, I kind of want to see if we can put our recycling centers on this island. I think that would be kind of interesting. It'd be a little difficult to get back up onto the bridge. So we may tunnel under and kind of have it come out over here. I don't know. The The traffic problems are not obscene yet. But I do kind of fear... I mean, we could also, instead of using this as a complete freeway, just make it a little more of like just a basic highway. Also, I'm pretty sure this isn't where I usually put my camera when we play uh, City Skylines. Let's plop the camera right on over here. I think that's about right. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye on things today. Just make sure that... You know, I have an, uh, a good handle on who's in chat and whatnot. Make sure that we can have the right amount of community interaction. Also, I definitely want to get rid of the poop river. That That's something that's like... Getting rid of the chocolate sauce is going to be uh, a high priority as well. The other thing is we could also just move the recycling area back here. And then we've got the highway on the ground. We could even just run some tunnels over 
and have that work out. I think that may be what we do. Let's go ahead and knock that little detail out first. Because again, I, I want to get rid of this polluted area because that can turn into a nice residential district. That's like prime real estate right there on the beachfront that we're not making good use of at the moment. So let's figure out how we want this to work. I think I want this to kind of just be a loop. So let's grab this tool and kind of have this come around like so. And we'll just, we'll loop this around the island a bit. Or not the island, but this, this side of things. And yes, I am using one ways here. And then around here is where I think we're going to go tunnel under. So give me a, a downturn. 12 meters under should be fine. Uh, the thing is, we need to tunnel downwards first. All right, we need to we need to tunnel down first. So let's start digging from this point. Get this down into a tunnel. There we go, much better. And then we can kind of have this. Well, we need to get about right there. Okay, hold on. Keep it at 12 and just keep it straight. And then this is where we're actually going to switch to a one lane and just kind of force it. Oh, but those can't go underground is the thing. We can roll these underground, though. I think that's kind of what we want. Have those be able to come up from underground. But you have to like actually connect it underground, though, is the thing. Nope. Okay. That's just connecting it to the node. One second. We'll we'll get there. We'll get there together. You and me together are gonna get there. Don't you worry. There we go. Coming in from the underground. That's your loop. This is probably like a really bad loop. Okay, so we've got three lanes one going that way one going up and around i know this is going to be a little annoying but i kind of want to see if we can get this underground maybe uh we had it hold on there we go okay and then from that point on just make it kind of a a bit of a steep curve or a sharp curve i should say bring that up Okay, and then all we're going to do here is we're going to turn this little bit into a two lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. So that way you've got one lane going up and off to the right. You've got these two lanes. And just to make sure that we don't have any weird crossings, we're going to go ahead and force you to go straight, you to go straight, you to go right. And that's already the way it's set up. But then, we're going to go to this intersection, and you have to go that way, you have to go that way. And so hopefully there won't be a bunch of lane switching. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can force them to not switch lanes. That would kind of be ideal. Go back into TPME. Can we force lane switching on that? Probably not. Okay, well, um, what we're going to do over here now is we're going to grab our recycling centers and basically we're going to turn this into our trash section. Now, of course, the curves are going to make it a little more difficult than I wish it was, but... we all I also have, like, no idea if this will end up being enough coverage. We'll kind of have to see. But we're just going to fill this up with recycling plants and just kind of go from there. And then this landfill is emptying. Once this landfill is empty, we're actually going to turn it off. So hopefully we can get that moved. We've got a park maintenance building. This just needs to be like scooched over to literally anywhere else. 
Can we squeeze it in somewhere over here? Probably not. That's the only problem with doing the curves like this. Ah, uh, hold on. I saw... I saw a spot. It can go there. Okay. There's another recycling center. Oh, and you gotta love the music. It's just so good, dude. Do we have any more recycling centers? We have a power plant that we need to move over here as well. This is going to be just a little, like, micro-industry area. Trying to see... Those are fish stick factories. We got our coal power plant. Which, I mean, at some point, we should probably just move to completely green energy. Get rid of all this awful pollution garbage. So I'm not above running a straight street down the middle that just gives us a little bit more freedom with where we place the buildings. Oh, I gotta hit the T, brother. Oh, that's good. I grabbed the lemon stuff today just to make sure that I'm taking good care of my throat because this is who I am now. I'm gonna be high energy. I'm gonna be in your face. I'm going to keep the voice level high. If you're not as hyped as I am, I'm going to get you there. Mark my words. Okay. So we need these landfills to go away. Can you empty? Oh, we do also have our incineration plant or incineration plants. Did we build two of those? There's another coal power plant. Keep relocating everything. Yeah, we're gonna have a rough time squeezing things in. So again, I'm thinking that a road right down the center is probably gonna be a good idea. All right, show me garbage. Yep, there's another recycling plant we missed. Recycling center, even. Yeah. I definitely did this in about the worst way you possibly can. There we go. Put it up on a cliff. All right, so we've got those two. Uh, what else? Oh, we need to look at power. What kind of power plants? I think we got all of our power plants out of there. We're good there. Okay, and then we're doing well on electricity availability as well. I'm also like sitting so high up that the camera's cutting off my forehead. But I gotta, I gotta lean back so you can see these luscious locks. Okay. So this will start clearing out that industry area. That'll hopefully start cleaning up the ground slowly but surely. And then basically we're just kind of looking for some industry demand will grow. That'll pop some more industry over here. And uh, yeah, I didn't realize how much money we spent doing whatever it was that we did. So I do like this kind of odd outer loop that we have. What, 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 what is this? Crusader Kings 2, gotcha. Okay. So my main question is I, I turned off this. Is it still emptying? I don't think it empties if it's off, but keep them emptying and just pay close attention so that they don't like stop emptying. We've got some commercial demand, so I think now's a good time to go ahead and put some more Low density commercial just painted in here. Just fill up some of this empty space and fine tune this a little bit. That'll take care of some of the commercial demand and then we're gonna have a bunch of residential demand to deal with. But you can see like it already is starting to look a little better. We haven't looked at land value in a while. I mean, Halva over here. This is one that I immediately wanted to get the land value up on. We've got a ton of people in this district with the, the high density stuff. We've got these office buildings starting to fill in. Let's take a look at traffic. We haven't paid too much attention to traffic in a while. Looks like we've got a little bit of a slowdown entering the roundabout here. Something to keep a close watch on. Well, let's go take a look at the, the public transit. We haven't done that in a little bit. So the inner loop blue line not doing great. The yellow loop, definitely doing great. Uh, we are having some power issues. We also didn't water a gosh darn thing over here. Let's get some water out into this little section. 
Okay. Now, from a power perspective, what do we have that can really help? I mean, solar updraft is obviously fantastic. 240 megawatts is quite a lot. It is double an oil power plant for less than double the cost. I'm kind of curious, though. What if we tried to pull off a hydro? If we ran a hydro from, like, there... I mean... It costs a lot of money, too. You want to drag it the other way. All right. Well, we would have to come back to that. No, we, we can't come back to that. We need the power right now. So I think we got to drop in a solar updraft. What's updraft? Honestly, just like stick it in the industry area somewhere. It's not that big of a deal. And again, like that took all of our cash, but we kind of had to deal with that now rather uh, sooner rather than later. Let me say my catchphrase. I got you, fam. I know you guys live and breathe that uh, that line sooner rather than later. So, yeah, traffic seems to be in a really good spot. Um, you know, we're not dealing with much backup going over here. I'm glad that we kept this as a loop. Um, I, I do see a little bit of backup getting uh, getting picked up here into the roundabout. I think, I mean, they are yielding, but honestly, there's just a bunch of garbage trucks there. Yeah, we're getting a big pile up right here of garbage trucks. So we may want to give them another route into the city. And so I think the right answer is in addition to that route heading outwards, Let's also give them... Now, I know this is going to be like a really awkward exit type thing. But this gives them another way to get into the city. So if they need to go around this loop, they can. And then coming back out... I mean, honestly, just connect with it underground. Go from about, like, right there, outwards, and then hit me with that tunnel, and then just connect up with this one. Oh, that goes that direction, though. Crud, that's right. Um... Our animatronics are so real, you'll think a T-Rex is serving you T-Bone. Okay, nope, undo that. We might be able to sneak it under here. And then have it just drop down, like, right onto this path. That is a really awkward setup. But we're going to give it a try. I mean, it's not me playing City Skylines if there's not at least a little bit of spaghetti. So get your marinara sauce ready. Because it's spaghetti time, boys. Alright, get me up to 10. And then come on around... Bring it around town. And then can we get under this slope? Oh, baby. And then we'll smooth it out with move it here in a moment. We need to get this, uh, this down on the ground. Ooh, yeah, because... Okay, we can slide it through there. So actually, that's probably going to be what we're going to do. Bring it down to the ground. Can you not... Ah, uh, okay. No matter what you need, be it a smoke pig, a goat by sunset, or a ten foot alligator. Uh, I don't like it. I hate it. Actually. Okay. That's, that's about one of the most awful things I've ever done in this game. Okay, so we have to fix all of this. I'm fully aware. If it ever was alive, they can get it to you dead. But we're gonna fix it together. So, oh my god, it's so bad. Look at this. Oh no. Oh god. Hide the shame. Hide the shame. Where where's my where's my regular one-way street? Am I missing something? Hold on. What happened? Oh, I literally already have it highlighted. Don't don't talk to me. Don't talk to me right now. Okay, let's get into move it and see how we can make this look less awful. 
So what I'm thinking we want to do is turn this into much less of an S curve because it doesn't really need to be. We could probably unbend this a bit. I don't know that I want to straighten that out. We'll kind of we'll kind of play with this a little bit. Actually, straightening that out does look kind of awkward, but not as awkward, maybe? Can you round that out? Okay. That's more of a rounded corner. Ah, uh, the height should be a little bit higher, because you can see it's clipping the sign. Alright, can we go back and... bring the height up a little bit? Uh, give me the highway section. Give me this, and then... No, we would have to do that with move it. So we'll, once we get the road where we want it, from like a not awful looking road perspective, we'll, uh, we'll bounce back in to move it and select all of this and raise it up higher. Because yeah, that, that won't work for me. That, that would bother the crap out of me. The thing is... Here's the thing. The other side is the same height, isn't it? No, I think it is just a slight touch higher. This one is just a little bit higher, probably at the 12 meter mark instead of the 10 meter. You know what? Uh, Discord is not in... Oh, it is in streamer mode. Okay, I don't know why that popped up. All right. So now for this bit down here, we need this node to kind of line up a little better. And then can you smooth this out? All right, that's at least curved slightly better. I, again, I don't want that to be straight. I think that looks a little awkward. Uh, bend that in, bend this in. Just the slightest S curve there. That's kind of a, a quick slope down as well. Can we make this be more of a smooth curve as well? Yes, but kind of got to bring that in a little bit. All right, don't don't even talk to me about how bad that is, but we go for functionality over fashion. This one, this one's honestly kind of bad too. Oh wait, that's the one the game made. <laughs> uh, sorry game. I didn't mean it. Yeah, th this definitely looks a little awkward. Can you smooth this curve out a little bit? That's... Actually, I think that's where it was before. Honestly, that's fine. I'm not going to create an extra lane. But that way, you know, we got a little extra spaghetti going on, but... Oh, that's not going to work for me. Move this node out. Give me a better curve there. Okay. That's a smoother curve around. Get this curved up. Curved up on a Thursday morning? Okay. And then here, just give me... Oh, that, that corner, though. Uh, I want it to be better. It won't get better. Okay. Well, you know what? Just give me all of these, and let's bump the height up just a touch. So basically, I'm going to go down here, and until it stops clipping the sign. It can be about right there. I feel like that's probably a more even height as well. No, we can, we can push it a little bit higher. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell in 3D space, but I think I think that looks good. That light is almost clipping, but not quite. And then I think this is where you grab your node slope smoother thingy. And you try to bring this sl uh, slope smoothed out a little bit more. You got to go back into your tool here, force bridge, upgrade this to be bridge type. And then you re-smooth the slope. Okay. And then this is where you got to go in to move it and kind of reconfigure this a little bit to make it not do the 
up and down roller coaster type thing. There we go. Now that slope is smoothed out. Smooth that curve out. Much better. Okay, so it's still like an awful bit of spaghetti. And you know, we'll we'll uh we'll want to dump some marinara sauce over here, but that's gonna have to do. I say marinara because you know I can't really have Alfredo sauce anymore, unfortunately. As good as Alfredo sauce is, let me tell you. So that that's much better. Okay, uh, are you still emptying 32% full? Man, okay, you know what? That's a fire station. That that fire station can actually stay there. Let me tell you what I want to do. I want to get another incineration plant over here. Just because that'll help with burning off the extra trash. Now eventually, we'll want to get rid of the incineration plants as well. Because, again, dirty, dirty pollution. But ideally, we would get these emptied out so we can honestly delete the landfills. Our garbage processing status is in a really good spot right now. Traffic flow at 85. And you know, I, basically once traffic starts dipping into the 70s is when we're going to start paying like really close attention. Okay, so kind of back to over here. What's our main focus again? Oh, oh, you know what? I think that hurt our... Yep, we have no garbage processing over here now. Our, our garbage coverage is pretty weak now. Oof. Okay, uh, what happens if we crank some speed limits up? These are 25. Bruh. You could probably go, we'll call this a 45 zone. And this is miles per hour, not kilometers per hour. So, you know, it's, you, you got to live with what you got. Uh, we can probably crank that up to a nice, cool 45. Yeah, I think 45 makes sense. And then going out onto the highway, that's 50, that's 65. Why, why is this road all 25? This is definitely another 45 kind of road. In fact, honestly, like with this outer loop, this may be a, a 55 or something. I already set it to 45. You don't have to click again to set it to 45 twice. Forehead. There we go. Okay, so now let's take a look at our trash coverage now that we got a little bit more speed limit. Still a little bit light, but there's a little bit of green touching out there. We'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, but the ba the big thing, of course, is for whatever reason, the highway had just been broken on this build the whole time. So we'll have to see if we can fix that up. All right. Tea has gone down the hatch. The caffeine is coursing through my veins. I think that I'm ready to go. So maybe what we want to look at, again, is just trying to get more people to this side of town. But I, I just don't think we have an efficient way to do it. Again, like we could pull a metro line over here or even try to go for a hydroelectric dam, let people drive across that. But I just, I don't understand why the highway is the way that it is, that like all of the coverage just stops right there at the end of the highway for some unforeseen reason. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I know that like, it's probably a bug with one of the mods I have installed, blah, 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 I get it. But you know, it's, it's something where it's kind of frustrating and we're gonna start dealing with garbage problems over here pretty soon. So I guess what you do is you just throw down a recycling center somewhere along this outer loop and you just keep an eye on things. If you start seeing garbage problems over here, drop down more recycling centers and that should be fine. And keep it on this side because this side is going to be residential stuff. And obviously we want to avoid any pollution type issues out there. So main focus off of the highway. Again, like I almost feel like another loop here would be kind of nice, but I also don't because I think that would be very noisy for our residents. So again, I, I want to just get back up to 100k because 100k would put us at a good amount of money 
We're really starting to flesh this build out. Uh, yeah, because we're, we're going to need to put down a lot of roads over here. Definitely need to put down some schools and some health facilities and all of that kind of stuff. But I will say, have we already painted a district out here? We have not. I'm going to go ahead and paint a big old district out here and make sure that we, uh, we do schools out. Because at the moment, because of the current level of our industry area, they require mostly uneducated or low educated workers. And so with that, we actually want people to skip some of their schooling and just get to work quicker. School's out. Only a small portion will go study in the university, which is fine because they're probably not going to properly use the highway anyways. We also definitely could consider bringing a ferry across and then running either a bridge over or a tunnel under into this district as well and that would you know that would give a good level of commute we got grand city that is fan free fantastic so what we actually want here waste transfer facility collect and temporarily store stored waste can be picked up by waste transfer trucks from waste processing complex building pollutes less so it can be built closer to city center waste processing complex sends out waste transfer trucks to pick up garbage from waste transfer facilities and landfill sites for further processing into energy and recycled materials cannot directly collect garbage from buildings. I'm pretty sure that's new. Baseball park, bit a large crowd, campus. Okay, so that's a campus area thing. And then we got solar power plant as well, which is a pretty nice one to have. But the big thing here, we got a big chunk of money. We can grab our third loan and then pay, take, pay, take. All right, we're gonna be paused for a minute, but we're also gonna be pogged for a minute. Let's get this residential area built out, shall we? So what I'm trying to do is I think we're gonna have one road that comes off maybe about right here. No, we should do it a little bit further along and then just have it curve right into this center section we've we've got a hospital here we'll actually drop the road right out by the hospital and this is where i want to get some bike lanes going maybe bus lanes but i think probably bike lanes because that one's large avenue with grass i'm looking for four lane road with bicycle lanes can i have bicycle and grass i don't think so no, it doesn't look like it, because I want, like, grass in the middle, bike lanes on the outside. But I think we're going to just do some bike lanes like this. And then we're going to grab our curvature tool, give me, just force whatever direction it needs to be. And then we're just going to do one big sweeping curve. Come under the bridge about like this, and just kind of get a closer look. I think it curves back a little bit. I don't quite like that. Maybe have it end about over here. There we go. I think I like that one more. Okay. Let's figure out where the posts are. So bring this down right about there or so. And so eventually, once we have this tile, we can expand out here and bring this road out even more. And I can already tell you, like, the speed limit's going to be too low on this road. What, what do you got for me? 30? Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is a... This is definitely a 50. So go ahead and bump my speed limit up on there. Did we bump up the loop? You got 30 leading up to this intersection. I think we kind of missed that when we did the loop earlier. So, something happened, because I'm pretty sure that we tried to do 60 all the way around the loop. Okay, so that gets residents onto the loop. And what I can tell you right now, this intersection is going to stink. So we will find a way around it, potentially even going like feeder roads that split off, something like that, just to avoid some of the problems. But at least right out of the gate, the first thing we're gonna do, come in here with a junction tool and get rid of that red light. For now, we're gonna put a stop sign here. Realistically, all we should need there is a yield. And I know what you're saying, just put a roundabout there, dummy. I don't think that's a good spot for a roundabout. I prefer roundabouts for four or more way intersections. Now we do the simple thing. You grab your highway, you grab your off ramp, you grab your curve tool and you just do a diamond interchange. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Just, just get me a simple diamond interchange. 
We are going to have a little bit of weaving to worry about here. Since you got people coming onto the highway here and then immediately exiting. So it's almost better to... Well, no, because left side would be the same problem. So we'll worry about upgrading the lanes here in a moment. And then we're going to go, again, just try to keep it as typical diamond as possible. About that curvature down onto there. And then curvature out to about maybe there or so. And then up onto the highway. So I, I do this every time. One side is, you know, a larger curve than the other. It just, it kind of happens. I don't worry too much about it. As long as the slopes are nice and smooth, which this one certainly isn't, but we'll kind of ignore that for the time being. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. We're, we're not necessarily going to be dealing with this side too terribly much. And then just make sure that there's no stoplights or anything. There is a stoplight here. That's not going to work for me. I'm not a fan of red lights. So turn that off. We want... I think we want traffic to stop there. Let traffic flow across for those that need to get on the highway. I think that's probably going to be the only stop sign we're going to need. And then let's do our highway upgrade so we have some off lanes. Give me the upgrade tool. So we're going to go back that segment, that segment, and honestly, that's fine. And then when you get back on, you get that and that. So you have a little bit of time before you got to merge down. And then same thing, go back two segments and then go forward two segments. You got to merge down into the two lanes that then split off. So I, I venture to guess that if we're going to have traffic problems on the highway later, it's going to be right here because you got to deal with coming back on from the residential loop onto this lane, merging these two lanes down into the one and then possibly changing lanes to go out that way on the highway. If we're going to have some traffic problems, it's definitely going to be right there. Now, how do I want to flesh out this part of it? I want to do like what I'm going to call a quasi grid. And so first things first, let's go back to the district tool because I think we can even like bring some of the residential down and kind of have an outer residential loop that ends up at this commercial area. So I honestly think just like bring this district all the way out and we may end up building on the other side of the highway as well. You know, I didn't necessarily consider that initially. But, like, for the moment, I want this to just be one gigantic district. Because I think that that gives us a lot of building flexibility. I'm not going to build out here. I'm not sure. We may turn this into just more industry once, uh, once time goes by a little bit more. So kind of what I was thinking is we're going to grab another one of these four-lane with bike lanes. Give me my curve tool back. And I want this to not dead end right next to the highway, but kind of dead end next to the highway. I almost want to have another exit here. Oops. I say almost because the problem is you're, you got enough time to merge to not deal with weaving. If we try to throw another on-ramp somewhere in here, like there's no way you're getting away from your weaving. So I think what we may do is kind of turn this into a bit more of an outer loop. So bring this... Honestly, this is going to be an awkward curve. But uh, not quite that far outwards. Uh, I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. That's not enough. Hold on. I got this. Uh, that That's a little bit closer to what I'm thinking. It's going to look a little ugly at first. A little ugly. I, I mean, maybe a lot ugly, but that's up to interpretation. The space already occupied. Yeah. What's, uh, what's blocking you here? Space already occupied. I, I'm honestly... Hold on. What, what's blocking? Because that shouldn't be a problem. I want it to connect back to that loop is the thing. So why don't we honestly just kind of keep it straight for a minute? 
And then honestly, like connect it all the way down here, but give it more of a sweep. That's why our cameras are the biggest on the market. Yeah, that, that seems a little bit better. And so again, I know it looks kind of awkward, but this gets it to where you have a little, like all of this is going to be filled in with kind of, yeah, you guys saw how I did the suburbs over here. You know, it's obviously very dense, but these roads, they just kind of curve in random directions. We're going to do a bit more of the same to kind of fill in the gaps. And then I think we want to do basically the same thing. Let's have this be... Yeah, basically right in between the exit. And bring this outwards on a little bit of a curvature. It's going to follow the highway a little bit. And I know that this seems like a little redundant. And also that looks really kind of dumb. But I'm okay with that. No, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, d trash this. That's not gonna work for me. Are we ma wasting money? Eh, maybe a little. Maybe a little. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta learn to make mistakes so you can learn to stop making mistakes. So I realize this does kind of nullify the highway a little bit. And that's, uh, that's a bit of an ugly curve. But okay, that gives us... You know, kind of this little exterior loop. And then we just fill all this in with uh, wonderful little suburbs. This is where you take your dang old two-lane roads. You turn on Freeform Tool and you get to work. And la-di-da, you know, then you just listen to some good music. Stellaris music. We got some Stellaris music going on. That, that'll work. And you just kind of build out these little suburban neighborhoods. I mean, give me a little cul-de-sac right there. Um, probably connect this off that way. And yeah, I'm going to build it in pretty dense because we're going to build up a really large industry area out here. And this is also going to give us a lot of room for growth from a, uh, a population perspective, which is obviously, you know, pretty important. So that'll probably end that neighborhood. We're going to have no connections between that one and this one. And, you know, it's just, it's a very American subdivision kind of thing. This is very much just the way that American subdivisions have kind of started being built over the last, well, I was going to say last few decades, but really it's been for a long time like this. Yeah, and you know, it seems quasi-random. And I, I, I don't know, I, I like the aesthetic. It, it works for me. It may not work for you, and that's honestly just perfectly fine. You know, different strokes for different folks. But I, I like the way that this works out. And then, you know, we're gonna we're gonna come back over to this side and start filling in from this direction as well. And again, none of these are going to connect to the industry loop. That's a, that's a big part of this is you have to use one of the main roads. No, 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 no. That looks terrible. Hold a sack kind of like that. This one can come down into that little section. I'm trying not to think too hard about this, but also like when I see I'm about to do something incredibly dumb, just don't. It'd be smart instead. That's usually a good way to figure that part out. We can actually connect these over. That seems okay. And then uh, why not give this kind of an interesting little curve in there. Make that curve like that and then honestly just have like this weird little cul-de-sac come out. And just try to mix up the designs a little bit as well. Make it look like different home builders came in and designed the subdivisions a little differently. And I, I'm liking the way this is working itself out. You know, we also need to come in here and make sure we got enough money for water and all that. You know, don't zone it off immediately. Because you may not have everything you need to zone it off. So we, the one thing is like the middle part here. We may want to run another road kind of right down the center. And connect a few things up. This is one where... I don't know. Um, I'm thinking... A four-lane uh, four road is probably still the right decision. 
I, I think that it'll be a good idea to kind of run a road like right down the center, about like that. And the reason I say that is because this is kind of a wide area. And so this is a good place to put some central city services because otherwise we'd have difficulty getting into some of these middle gaps with how much room there would be between the outer loop areas and right here. So this way, this can connect into that neighborhood and we can kind of do some, you know, little branches off of that branch off like that. And this, this I think gives us a little bit more fluidity and you know, kind of doesn't break the city services as much as it would otherwise. Yeah, I think we're going to want one that gets into that part of the neighborhood. And then we got this big empty gap. I think I want to do that and then maybe something like that. And so I know there's some intersections on that road. It's not going to be too big of a deal, I don't think. Maybe even bring this four-way up, kind of like that. And we'll do a, a weird branching off, kind of like that. Okay. I kind of like the way that that filled in. Then we can put some commercial stuff along the main road. Great bus route opportunities here as well. And then uh, we'll just kind of do the same thing down here in the, the northern section. Or actually, I don't know which way is north. But, you know, details. So we'll start from this four-way, and then here's the thing. Again, I, I think we need another road kind of splitting this down the middle. Just making it easy for city services to get where they're going. So why don't we branch off maybe like right in the center and bring this down about like that. And then I actually think we should go the other way as well. This is going to be a little bit awkward, but bear with me on this. Is I want to go... Kind of split. This is going to look very odd, I realize, but... I don't know why the space is already occupied. Okay, then we'll fill this in. And again, this is just mostly to make city services not be as broken up as they would be otherwise. Because we would really run into issues where like health and fire and all that can't necessarily get where they need to go. And now we do some, you know, big, very dense residential neighborhoods here. Probably pull, uh, maybe like right there. And again, like, try not to think too hard about it. You want it to be very random looking, but with some pattern. And, and like, some pattern, basically what I mean is it needs to look like someone at least tried to make it look functional. Not necessarily pretty, but definitely functional. Uh, this is probably one that can come down to about right there. I know it looks like a bad intersection, but the good part about doing it this way is you end up with traffic kind of spread out a lot. We can actually bring that into the four into a four way there. I think we will run this just straight through and then branch off of this a lot. Have this kind of meet up with that four way. Bring one off of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly what I wanted. This is looking very good, ladies and gentlemen. Bring this down. Uh, probably want a couple more that just kind of stick in. Yes. There we go. And then we'll just keep branching off of this. Honestly, give me a little bit of a weird curve. And then curve that into the middle. Bring this in on that. Bring this over onto that road. And this, this gives us a lot of, you know, big road space where city services can definitely get where they need to be. But we've got plenty of room for residences in here as well. They're, they're going to be packed in here, which is good because 
we're going to have a really big industry area. And then what if people want to get to downtown? Well, we'll figure out the transit here in a minute. Again, I'm thinking that like it may not be a bad idea to roll with some ferry service. So that they can be like magically teleported. No, a different kind of ferry. I don't know why space already occupied is... Oh, because of the underground power lines. Okay. Yeah, that's the only problem with the underground power lines mod is you run into some of that stuff. Also, I realize that every single one of these connections is creating a stoplight. We will definitely go back and clear that up. Don't you worry your pretty little heads about that. Okay, we still got a little bit more to fill in here. We'll actually connect that up. And... Honestly, like, I don't want any other connections in this little uh, zone, so just kind of have that be a little bit like that. We'll bring this four-way up, and then bring this down, curve off of that one, kind of like so. This can come over. You can come over anytime. Little cul-de-sac there, that seems okay. Bring this... Now, this is the interesting part, is I don't know that we want to build right in this space. It's a little close to the industry for my taste, but we'll kind of see. The thing is, it is industry, but it's farming industry, which is non-polluting. And so it's actually not as big of a deal. There's still noise pollution that you got to worry about, but that that's a lot less of a concern than like hey people are going to get sick because they're literally living on a pile of trash basically so we'll we'll deal with this and see where the noise pollution is at and kind of go from there i don't think it should be too big of a deal but we'll definitely want to keep an eye on things in fact we can check that right now um yeah, okay, so it definitely isn't rock and roll. Because if it was rock and roll, then it wouldn't be noise pollution. Unfortunately, it is noise pollution, so we're gonna maybe have to deal with a little bit of that. Probably weave some commercial in here. We got a, another underground power line. This is really dumb. I don't know why I built that. Don't don't do that. That's that's bad. Honestly, that seems okay. And again, we're not going to build out here quite yet. This is going to be more than enough. So here's what I want to do is first things first, let's make sure everything is watered. That's going to be the big first step. Just get everything nice and watered out here. We're gonna, definitely going to put some commercial along the exit off the highway because that's just the way it is. Hook all this stuff in. Get this nice and cleared up. All nice and watered. And then I'm gonna just make this into a bit of a spiral. Hook that into the water lines. And then we'll just keep spiraling around into a slow descent into madness. Hook that into the water. And uh, this is probably a decent spot to pop off from. Good stuff there. Spiral back onto yourself. I, I know that like, basically if there's pipes, then you're good and you don't have to worry about it, but I don't want it to be like too dumb. Which I know this is already just very, very dumb, but you know, don't judge me. So also in this city, we want to encourage bicycles. So close city vitals for a second. Let's take a look at what we've got. Um, da, 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 da. Prefer Parks is a good one. For profit education. Yo, Adrian! How's it going, brother? Glad you're here, dude. We are ticking away on the residential section for what we, uh, basically all of Holly Hills is set up for orbit. Just figuring out how we want things to go here. High rise ban, heavy traffic ban. No, we don't want that. We want encourage biking for sure. Let's see here. Uh, combustion engine ban. No, no, no. Played some Rocket League with Yudi the 